Hi guys, it's Mikey here from Refactory. Uh, we're here at Queen Elizabeth Grammar School uh, to meet Hector from Class 6R as he was the winner of our school cycle competition. Um, he's won himself a bookcase and a plaque with his own poem on it as that poem was the winning poem that we chose. Um, so yeah, we're going to head inside now and go meet Hector and uh, ask him all about it. And the turtle swims towards the beach to bury her eggs way out of reach. But now discarded plastics obstruct her swim, dumped in the ocean from someone's bin. If she doesn't make it, all will be lost. Our love of plastic comes at a cost. Uh, we're here with Hector from Class 6R. Hello. Is that right? Yeah. 6R, yeah. Um, so yeah, we've, we've basically just come to drop off the bookcase, so the, the fully 100% recycled bookcase. Um, and this, this little plaque here is uh, Hector's poem that he, he sent over, so. I remember just turning off a channel and then another channel came on after I got out and then I noticed it was about, you know, animals being in danger. So I started watching it because it sounded interesting and then I watched it till the end and a few years later when I saw this, I just like, I remember watching a video from when I was younger about uh, the sea turtles and it was all the animals, but I thought I should do the sea turtle because I think it gets endangered the most. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It's a fantastic poem. Yeah. 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 Really nicely written. A nice uh, picture. So we'll have to think exactly where it goes, Hector, because you know the plan is that we'll develop the library and we'll move some of these tables out and get some more bookcases in. So somewhere else in the library we can have a look at the design yeah. and think about it. Maybe even outside we spoke about as well, because yeah. it should be oh, waterproof. Uh, and that's why there's grass on it. It is, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to be an outdoor reading area. So yeah. we could maybe put it in there. Do you think that would work yeah. well? Right, so we'll, well think about, about that. What about the books if it rains? Well, I've thought of, yeah, we did think about that, but maybe the books go out in the day and come back at night. Yeah, what if it rains in the day? Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Because we we, we're thinking about an undercover one as well. So we could maybe put it in an, a, a, an undercover area outside as well. Yeah, mm. we'll have a think. Yeah, well, it, well it's really good for, for spreading the message about you know the benefits of recycling and also that. Um, issues that you know non-recyclable plastic causes as well which is obviously what Hector's highlighted here yeah. uh, so it's a really good thing to get involved with and, and, and yeah our our boys have really jumped on board with it they're really keen at uh, you know collecting they'll they'll talk to other people about the importance of it as well because they want to have the bottle tops to bring into school to you know to, to build up our totals so it helps to spread the message as well um, and have just having this out in school it's a it's a talking point you know if I'm showing parents around or children visit from other schools then we can talk about this and you know the importance of getting the materials in so that we can make um, things things out of them rather than it just going to landfill.